age of just 16, Jessica and Jennifer Gadarova's selection to Team GB's Women's Artistic Gymnastics Quartet was an incredible achievement in itself. Uh, last Tuesday, the twins secured a bronze medal just weeks after finishing their GCSEs. And I'm pleased to say we're joined by the twins now. Good to see both of you. Morning. Morning. Proudly, Morning. We proudly wearing your medals. I love the fact you answer together as well. Fantastic. There it is. <laughs> oh, look at that gleaming, gleaming away. <laughs> How does it feel? How does it feel, girls, to have a bronze Olympic medal? It just feels so amazing. Like, we still can't believe it. Like, yeah, we're just so young and it's just, like, beyond our, like, dreams. Like, our, like, biggest dream was just to make the Olympics and call ourselves Olympians. But coming away with bronze medal is just... Still can't believe it. Jessica, where have you been keeping it for the last few days? Because I'd be really nervous. I'd have had to give it to a grown-up to look after. And I, and I mean, like, other than me, and I definitely don't consider myself a grown-up at 46. Yeah, I've been keeping it next to my bed, very close, in a locked drawer in the village, and been keeping it in the box that we've been given. I bet you so have. So safe and protected. Yeah, quite right too. I know, it must be almost nerve-wracking. But listen, even if it goes missing, no one can take it away from you because you've got it. That's the important thing. You had, of course, the and individuals to deal with as well and came sixth and seventh in that. Um, how did you feel about that performance? Because everyone's saying it was so amazing and you are the future, you two. Yeah, I think for me, I feel like personally it wasn't my best performance. My tumbles weren't the best of my abilities, but I put that to one side and just danced my heart out and just tried to give the performance of a lifetime. And it was my last time being on the Olympic floor, so I just wanted to show the world again how amazing I am at gymnastics and how much I love being on that floor. And, yeah, I just wanted to show off and really give it my all. And it was fantastic. And, Jessica, you got sick. Uh, what were your feelings? Yeah, it was our last time competing on that floor, so I just wanted to give it my best performance, which I felt like I did. And there was it was a very, very tough competition, so close to the margins of becoming the champion to um, eighth place. It was very, very tough. And I just tried to put my best performance. I, I knew my difficulty went as high as all the other girls who are above me. So I really, really tried on the execution, which I think I did really well at. So um, learning from this, I know I just need to get back in the gym, work really, really hard on my difficulty. So I'll be up there next time. I, uh, it's fabulous looking at the two of you together. And I imagine it's been really important for the two of you to have each other there because you're such close sisters, twins indeed. Yeah. Uh, who's older? Which one of you's older and by how much? I'm older. By seven minutes. Seven <laughs> minutes. <laughs> so as yeah. new, I imagine that's an important seven minutes in terms of hierarchy as well. I've got two boys who are 16 and 15, so my Sam is the same age as you girls. Uh, and I know how competitive they are with each other in everything. Are you quite competitive with each other outside of gymnastics in anything else you do? Or do you get on quite well and you're sort of quite laid back about competition? Um, yeah, I think we are quite like competitive in and outside gymnastics. Like, when it is the competition, we are very encouraging and supportive. But say, like, when it comes to new skill, we are quite competitive on, like, who can get it first or who can do it the best. And I think sometimes in the gym we do, like, games night and say if we're on separate teams, we want our team to do the best. So we'd be very competitive with that. Jessica, how often Even do you quote that seven minutes when you're, when, when, you know, you're trying to make sure you're first in the queue for something or you want something, it's like, hang on a minute, I am seven minutes older than you. I've got friends who are twins and there's <laughs> 22 minutes between them and we're always hearing that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I am a little bit more bossy than her when <laughs> it comes to doing things. But, um, yeah, we, I try to treat her the same as me and just give her opportunities as well as I do. And, yeah, she means the world to me, so I just want her to achieve as much as I do. Her, ex her success is as great as mine. Well, you, look, you're you, only weeks yeah. away, uh, weeks from, I Nine would say. Days. Uh, nine from, days. Nine days. What? GCSE results. I was going to say, yeah, nine days, two GCSE results, 
um, weeks since you did them. I know your son is in the same position. Have you even given a thought to those results? Uh, or does it no, just no, simply not really matter? <laughs> We've just been focusing more about, like, doing our best performance at the Olympic Games because, like, everyone's experienced the GCSEs and, like, the results day. And I know everyone's, like, nervous about, like, what result they will get, but... Not everyone's going to experience the Olympic Games, so we try to soak up that moment as much as possible and have the best memories of it, really. I Jessica, have so you spoken to any of your friends? Because your mates at school, who are just having their GCSE summer, so having a lovely time, and haven't been doing anything remotely as competitive or as intense as you, have you heard from them? Has it been lovely to catch up with them and family? Um, yeah, um, I had some people from school saying, like, well done, congratulations, and, like, wow, you're so amazing on TV. Oh, yes, I did watch you on the TV. <laughs> it's not like I didn't. And you are so amazing to watch. But, yeah, it has been hard because we haven't been able to see our schoolmates because um, we arranged with our school to stay at home and did our learning at home to protect us from COVID so wow. we could achieve the Olympic Games. So it has been quite tough, but we worked it out and... It's been amazing. But then at least we've got each other to keep our company so we don't feel as isolated working from home. No, that you're a fabulous true. bubble. And I suspect a, a great fun night out or at a bit of a barbecue or something uh, is in order when you get back. And if you don't get the results you want in the GCSEs, just say, Sir, Miss, bronze medal. It's all that, that matters. Should, that should ease. That should ease the pain. Of course, you are <laughs> going to come back as uh, internationally renowned superstar gymnasts and celebrities. Have you been practising your autograph? Have you had to sign any autographs yet, girls? Because you're going to have to get used to selfies and autographs when you get home. We've been doing plenty here already, so I think we got it to a T. Nice. Give us your best selfie pose. Oh! <laughs> Perfect. It's the winner. It, the medal. Don't get the medal. Yeah, there you go. Amazing. Oh, uh, we'll all be clamouring for one of those. Uh, so lovely to talk to you. Good luck on the 12th of August. As you say, girls, you've achieved something extraordinary already at such a young age. We can't wait to see what happens in the future. But um, Jessica and Jennifer, lovely to see you both this morning. We're all incredibly proud. Thank, Thank you. you. It was great talking to you too. Oh. Oh, oh, I just keep looking at look, thinking about my son and just thinking, what? <laughs> <laughs> Pull your socks up. <laughs> I'm very proud of him. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. It's yeah. so oh, lovely, that... isn't it?